they understand it to a certain extent. As long as it's making money. As long as it's controversial and it's making money. As soon as you start like having some kind of principles or honor, oh, oh, oh. Hold it down now, buddy. Above the Rim is a movie about basketball in the high school gym and on the street. And Tupac's character, Birdie, is the local gangster who'd rather run the show than run the floor. To Tupac's thinking, this is smart casting. Unfortunately, basketball is a contact sport. <laughs> and I'm a real no-contact kind of guy. <laughs> Being 165 and all, I'm not trying to bump into too many people. Basketball was never my thing, but running the basketball players, I could always relate to that. Playing the young high school basketball star lured onto a street team by Tupac's birdie is TV-trained newcomer Dwayne Martin. And with rival gangs competing against each other, the game becomes a lot more sinister. People really didn't believe that it goes on, you know. It's like, you know, lo local drug dealers own teams. Instead of fighting against other drug dealers in other neighborhoods and having wars, they play ball. There's a true story in New York City, a couple of players that's playing now were in an incident where they played for this guy. The, the referee made a crucial call at the end. One guy, the, the owner, didn't like the call and they killed the referee. Others who flesh out the cast include Marlon Wayans, Leon, who's still happy about the success of his last film, Cool Runnings, and MTV's Eric Knees. But it was Dwayne Martin who brought the film company New Line to Tilden High in his old neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. The school used to be number two in violence. Now they're like 90-something. These kids needed, you know, some incentive to continue to do well. Hopefully what we do is spark somebody's career. You know, somebody's gonna walk away from here today and go, did you see all those girls after him? I wanna be an actor. Or did you see the producer, the stack of money he had? I wanna be a producer. But also it's good for the movie people too to see what a day is, what it's, what it's really like to live. You know, there's no big houses here. It's all projects and tenements, you know what I'm saying? They gotta really understand what they're shooting about. Above the Rim tells the story of a high school basketball player who is torn between pursuing ball in college or the quick money of street ball. Basketball is, and I hate to make this sound cliche, you know, like all us black folks need to get out the ghetto as a basketball. Or dance. You know what I'm saying? But it's not like that in this story. It's not like basketball in terms of him going to college. It's just basketball in terms of there being something to concentrate on, you know, something for him to get his mind away from the negative. And that's the action in our movie, is the basketball. It's like guns in, um, in Die Hard. You know, it's, it's the action. Rapper actor Tupac Shakur plays Birdie, the local gangster who owns the street players. I like playing the bad guy, but I want to play a bad guy that's for real, like a Robert De Niro or Harvey Keitel, you know what I'm saying, with some substance and character, you know, and, and not just a crazy fool with a gun. Using his knowledge of the street, Tupac invented his character, complete with a nasty scar and a surprise weapon. I chose a razor, because in the streets of New York, in the club scenes, um, you know, that the thugs carry razors in their mouth. And when they get into altercation, they spit it out and cut, you know what I'm saying? I said, I was amazed. I was like, that's raw. That, that would really scare somebody. And that was part of the fear that I wanted to bring to Birdie. Check this out. They're not going to college or anywhere if the Birdman don't win. You might be on another team, but you playing for me, God. You remember that. Good game. It was during production that Tupac made headlines following his arrest. And despite the bad publicity, first-time director Jeff Pollock was there to support him. It must be hard for a director to have his main character in jail. You know what I'm saying? And you have to shoot tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But they never let me feel that. You know, I came on the set and it was just like I left last night. The soundtrack of Above the Rim features SWV and the Dog Pound, to name a few. Tupac's contribution was inspired by his trouble with the law. I got a song called Pain. Yeah, that, that I wrote it as soon as I got out of um, jail, I had to get charged, and, um, and I felt it, you know what I'm saying? The Death Row Party is on and popping. Everybody who's anybody's here, and uh, we having a funky good time, baby. <laughs> Tell me about the track, Pain. Producer right here for Pain. Big stretch dog in the house. It was all about what was going on in our environment at the time with the cases and the movie and the stress. 
It's all about stress and how we deal with it. You know, the pain can really get to you more than the gunshot. The pain from just being out here, not getting shot. Yeah, and I got a cut on that called Regulate with Warren G. G does. Yeah, it's kind of dope, too. You'll be hearing about it. Guarantee you, big baby. Then it's another track on there from the Lady of Rage, produced by me and Dr. Dre. And then it's a second cut on there from the D-O-double-G's, me and Corrupt for a dog pound for life, taking yeah. nothing from nobody. Grab the back, grab the pony, back then I call it dog pound.